Hello, all of my goblin farmer friends. This is Barnacle here, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 video. This time, we're going to be a, doing a Let's Play on Elm Creek with a heavily edited, modded, landscape, and decorated map. Or not map, but farm. Right, so I did a complete farm build over, I don't know, eight to 10 hours of live streaming. Um, and so if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, I have three or f I think four live stream videos uh, where I do all of that work. But this is actually going to be the map tour of our, or not the map tour. We're not gonna tour the map. Everybody knows what Elm Creek map looks like. This is going to be our farm tour of our um, farm, obviously, that we will be using for the Let's Play. But before we see what our new farm looks like, we need to first see what the Elms Creek standard farm looks like in the same area. So we are going to go get a before picture real quick. And then we will be back with the tour of our new farm. See you then. All right, so that was an interesting tour of what Elm Creek looked like before. Now let's see what it looks like now. Before we get started, let's look at our farmhouse. This is Elk Mountain Modding's Ranch Pack Farmhouse. Um, I love the way this looks. I mean, I, this is exactly the kind of house I'd like to have. I love that it has a working wood stove that also could be used to heat the house, but also has a ginormous uh, six burner uh, gas stove and a wood burning fireplace, or no, it's possibly it's a gas fireplace maybe with the TV above. And then upstairs is our sleep trigger in the bathroom is our uh, customize your character trigger. Nice little office here. A bedroom office in the loft. Perfect place for that. All right, out here. Where's my truck? Oh. Huh. She's actually, she's in the garage. So this is the 82 Studio TLX 2020 Trail Boss with the Kubota skin. Um, I have almost all of the 82 Studio mods turned on for this map um there's obviously a 2022 version they just recently came out with uh but i wanted this one because it had the Kubota wrap and we are well this farm was a heavily Kubota farm um before it got too big and needed some bigger equipment 
So this is the uh, garage that goes with uh, this farmhouse, which is pretty nice. It's not a workshop, I don't think, but I don't see a trigger in there. We got our farm dog back here. Who needs a name? Anybody wants to give the farm dog a name will get a shout out with their name and the dog's name. Back here we have Elk Mountain's uh, open range chicken pack. Mostly the idea of these chickens back here, not so much for production, but for, uh, you know, farmhouse use for eggs and stuff like that. In the front of the ranch or the front of the farmhouse, and we have a couple of decoration packs from 80, uh, from Elk Mountain. We have this uh, wagon and old plow there and this wagon wheel. And let's get in our TLX 2020 trail boss. Booyah. Over here is the Elk Mountain uh, greenhouse. Again, not really gonna use this one for production so much. Uh, other than its basic use was the idea is mostly decoration, right? The use for the farmhouse. Um, obviously, it will grow stuff, but it's not our main source of production for that. This is uh, for the Michigan Farm Pack, Michigan Barn Pack, whatever, uh, for Michigan Farms. And this is a, I think, 600 bale storage shed with auto load and under. <coughs> Excuse me. Over here, this is the red barn pack uh, hay shed. So it has uh, for loose uh, hay and straw. I put a bunch of these big bags around here for decoration. And then here's where you load and unload your uh, loose hay or straw. Inside of here, I put a bunch of pa pallets of seed in here for decoration again not this is not like we're gonna pull up and use the seed or whatever this pig feed mostly it's all just decoration even these trailers right so i bought this trailer and color matched it to the kubota trail boss so i mean it kind of goes together right so this two, two horse trailer this is a two horse trailer i mostly bought all of this just to sort of fill up this barn and again as decoration right since we're not going to be doing animals anytime soon mostly it's just going to sit in here this one transport everything outside of the horses. It does transport horses, but this one will be for the pig and the sheep and the cows. Over here it, in the homestead area of the farm is our horse stable. This is also from elk modding that you can see out there, elk mountain. Uh, the idea of this again, not for production, but for like farmer use, right? These are the horses for the farm hands, uh, the farmer's family to use, um, unless we decide to become a horse farm. But that's not the main idea. And here again, I use feed pallets. Uh, up top here, I put some more big bags, horse feed up there, just to kind of give it an uh, interesting look. And then some more here, actual horse feed. I think it might be a. Does it say on here? Duca horse food. So. And then again, the feeding station, the animal grazing uh, mod will. The, an, the horses will actually graze out here, but we gotta fill in some more meadow grass. I missed that part apparently. This is our entrance to the far, main farm here, Elk Mountain Ranch. Uh, I really like the look of that. Some more decoration out there, wooden fencing all around. The, the street the frontage and then i added all this trees and flowers and bushes throughout the whole farm uh, because i literally cut everything down and painted over everything before i started uh here is a bunch of straw i put in here that i took off of a couple of the fields that had weed and oats on it before i started uh, landscaping so the straw is really ours but i was going to put it in the, in the bale shed but I'd put it here for decoration. And then I just uh, teleported in some of these bales just to kind of fill up the shed a little bit and give it some more decoration. Uh, over here in this shed is our Kubota grass implements. So we have a fast baler there. We have, uh, what's that? That's a tether. This is a wind rower. We have our Kubota mower, front and back mower. And then this uh, TLX 34. 3500 
uh, pickup truck from 82 Studio with the feed mixer on the top. And if you pull close, you can see, well, I don't have the help menu up, but if you see on the bottom down here, it actually has the recipe um, that's set up right now, standard recipe, right? But you can change the recipe to however you like, right? That is this part of the farm. And then, of course, I added more big bales out front or big bags out front here to just sort of fill the area up. I thought it was a good idea, right? Just like some fertilizer and then some chicken feed, horse feed, um, some more solid fertilizer there. I mean, if we end up eventually needing to use it for some reason, we will, but really my idea is mostly just to use it for decoration. And then we could actually come out. We'll go out this way. These are our arable fields out here. I still have to do a little bit of landscaping, I think, here to make this not so drastic. But we got three big fields out here. The railroad tracks are right up there at the end. I tore down all the trees, like you'll see from the before video to this video. Uh, like I cut down all the trees and then replanted bushes, trees, and grass, etc. myself. Um, these are all birch. Mostly all the rest are elm. Um, this is a bridge that I didn't finish there. I gotta change that, change that out to the Elf Mountain one. And then this one does have the Elf Mountain one, but obviously needs um, a little bit more landscaping done here. And then we have two more arable fields on this side, and then this is our animal husbandry area, right? So we'll use all of the animal stuff to be over here. This is our slurry silo with a slurry silo extension. Uh, base game, three bay storage. Uh, not sure what I'm gonna be using that for yet, but it just sort of fit there. Uh, two base game pig uh, pastures, or whatever you wanna call it a silo extension manure uh, thing and then a slurry one over there so the slurry and this manure should hopefully pick up all three barns and produce everything in this one area this is the elk mountain uh horse barn i like the look of this much better than the base game ones um more open pasture -y kind of idea but still it's not their open pasture one, but this gives it more of that sort of ranch type feel. And two base game fields here for overflow for the storage of the cows until they're ready to be sold off. Coming back around, we have the other pig uh, enclosure with a slurry in between, another elk mountain shed uh, for use, so whatever we decide to use it for. And then we have two base game sheep pastures, uh, one on the left and the right here for overflow sheep. And then this is the Elk Mountain open pasture sheep uh, pen or whatever enclosure. So that's pretty interesting. I like these open pasture ones. So I'll probably be using those pretty much in most of my games. I like to use the cow one, but the cow one was like super big and took up a lot of space. Uh, here are three production greenhouses right here, and then five bunker silos that can handle all of the different types of silage that is in the maize plus um, grass, corns, add-on thingy. Um, we got some decoration here. We have all of the rest of the Kubota pack. We got the M6, M7, and M8 tractors with the Kubota cedars and fertilizer and sprayers in the back. We have two McCormicks because the Kubotas were not big enough to handle a lot of the newer equipment that we were getting. So we've upgraded to some McCormicks that max out in the 360-ish horsepower range. And then we got the beautiful Fent Black Beauty here uh, I think she's like 464 horsepower. So that's our highest power tractor. We have a couple of the uh, Homer pack trucks. I don't know. They're Terra Dos, Terra Felis trucks. I don't know. I don't know. One obviously is our slurry sprayer. The other one's our solid manure sprayer. And then this is um, like a sort of like an auger tipper kind of thing. For storage of that stuff. Uh, we have our Kubota telehandler, our roller, 
a rock picker and a vulture over here. Here we have a beautiful Fent Ideal Harvester with the big old header in the back. We have our anhydrous ammonia and our propane corn dryer silo over here. This is the 82 Studio Multi Fruit uh, buying point and then a liquid fertilizer uh, meridian tank, I think. On this side, we have a TLX Phoenix. I think this is the X3. Um, this is the agricultural one with the agricultural tracks in the back, and it has attached to it the big Homer uh, auger. And then we have the Grimmy potato picker and a potato wagon, which also does sugar beets, and then the Homer sugar beet uh, picker or whatever there. I added a bunch of these liquid barrels back in here for decoration. Again, not really to be used necessarily but mostly just for decoration to fill up the space in the barn. Inside the barn is a little bit empty, but has our big Crone Big X 1180 Forge Harvester. This is the corn header for the Fent Ideal. And then this is the cultivator and anhydrous ammonia tanks for using that part of the game to go with precision farming and ammonia. Nitrogen, right? Put nitrogen in. Uh, this is the actual workshop garage and in here we have the TLX Phoenix winter wolf and this guy is set up for winter usage, right? So he's gonna have a big salt tank on the back and a big V plow and that's pretty I mean we can take stuff off and use it for other things, but we're not and this one is 82 studios uh, big Mac uh, Truck that they made that's just our typical fifth wheel uh, you know, to pull trailers or whatever the case we need that. Um, I only used it once to pull some stuff around, but, um, not sure that we will even need it very much, but maybe we put a big giant tipper on it and we have to transfer stuff. So here is the Detroit diesel, uh, TLX Phoenix truck with a tipper, a water tank and a flatbed along with the Volvo pack. Um, or maybe this is from Planet Mac platinum expansion i'm not really sure which one it came from but uh that is the big volvo the biggest volvo the biggest wheel wheel loader anyway that i could even find in the game uh that looked not crazy right and then it has a big huge silage fork on the front from i think the cs csv pack uh, i think it's like eight thousand liters and then we have a little diesel fuel tank here and a windmill and then our big giant silo 18 million liter silo that took up that whole field uh, along with the dump and pickup station there so yeah that is the farm we are going to be using in our elm creek let's play and it should be fun i thought it would be great to try a try something different and create a whole farm from scratch and i kind of like the idea i might just do that now from from now on with a lot of the different maps and you know with different kinds of sizes and different kinds of equipment and things like that see what we can come up with so i hope you guys are interested in the series and we'll follow along with the let's play and see where we can go with the whole community and basically we're going to build maybe we'll do a little role playing on this series uh see what we can do see what works the best but i wanted to give a little map tour before we actually get started with episode one of the elm creek let's play and this has been barnacle i uh, thank you guys for watching and if you feel so inclined please feel free to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time take care